Hi everyone, welcome you all to YouTube. Uh, today I'm just going to explain you what will happen when an electric dipole is placed in a uniform electric field. So these uh, yellow lines represent the electric field E. So let me uh, let me explain what is meant by an electric dipole. Uh, an electric dipole is nothing but uh, uh, two equal and opposite charges uh, separated by a distance, uh, some distance. Uh, so let me take this charge plus here over here and the charge minus here over here. And these two charges are separated by a small distance as 2D. Uh, so this constitutes an electric dipole. Uh, so let me repeat the definition one. Uh, two equal and opposite charges. The magnitude of these two charges will be equal uh, and this, uh, they, they will have the opposite sign. So two equal and opposite charges separated by a small distance constitute an electric dipole. Uh, so I'm just going to place this electric dipole in this electric field. Uh, so let me draw a charge uh, plus Q over here and a charge minus Q over here. So uh, this is the charge plus Q and this is the charge minus Q. So um, these two charges are uh, separated by the dipole distance 2D. So the dipole distance is uh, 2D. So let me name this point as uh, A and this point as B. Okay. Then um, this charge plus Q uh, being in an electric field will experience a uh, force uh, along the field direction. So this force F, the magnitude of this force will be equal to the product of the charge in the field, charge Q into E. Since the charge is positive, uh, this force also will be positive. Uh, F is equal to QE. Similarly, uh, this uh, charge uh, minus Q will also experience a force in the opposite direction. Uh, it opposes the electric field, direction of the electric field. Uh, so the magnitude of this force F will be equal to minus QE. Since the charge is negative, uh, the force is also negative. Okay? Now F is equal to minus QE. And so uh, these uh, two equal and opposite charges, uh, which are not passing through each other, uh, resulting uh, will result in a torque on a dipole. Uh, due to this torque, uh, the dipole will uh, uh, align itself in the field direction. So due to this torque, um, uh, due to this torque on the dipole, and the dipole will uh, set itself in the field direction. Uh, so we just want to find the torque tau, the magnitude of uh, the torque tau. Uh, so um, uh, the torque tau, the magnitude of torque tau is equal to uh, product of one of the force and the perpendicular distance between the force. So we want to find the perpendicular distance uh, between the forces. So to find it. Uh, and just uh, drop a perpendicular from this charge plus Q. So let me name this point as C. Uh, like the angle made by the dipole with the electric field be theta. So this angle is also theta. So let me find the sine, uh, sine theta. So sine theta will equal AC over AB. From the diagram, we know that the dipole distance AB is equal to 2D. So sine theta will equal uh, AC by 2D. Sine theta equals AC by 2D. So the perpendicular distance AC is equal to 2D sine theta. So we just now find the perpendicular distance AC. I'm going to substitute uh, this in, the, in this equation. Top tau is equal to one of the force into perpendicular distance. So the perpendicular distance I have found is uh, uh, 2D sine theta. So F into 2D sine theta. Okay. Uh, we know that the force F uh, is one of the forces QE. So substituting F is equal to QE into 2D sine theta. So uh, we know that the product of the charge and the 
distance between the dipole is nothing but the dipole moment. Uh, the dipole moment P will always equals the product of one of the charge in the perpendicular distance between the charge. So this is the dipole moment. Uh, so here a Q into 2D, uh, we can substitute the value as P. So the dipole moment P into E sin theta. So P E sin theta. So this is the magnitude of the uh, torque tau. Tau is equal to P E sin theta. We can also represent, uh, represent this in vector notation. Uh, the tau vector will equal the cross product between P and E. So tau vector is equal to P vector cross E vector. So this is the vector notation. Uh, so when an electric dipole is placed in an uh, electric field, uh, due to the force uh, torque, uh, the dipole will uh, set uh, itself along the field direction. So that the magnitude of the force will equal P sin theta and in vector notation tau vector is equal to P vector cross P vector. So when this electric dipole is placed in a non-uniform electric field, uh, in addition to the torque, uh, it will also experience a force. Uh, so thank you for watching. Please leave your comment.